best to stay moisturized mm -hmm. as well. Thank you for that, Bridget. <laughs> now we'll send things over to Tatiana Battle. She joins us live in Odessa with a look at the current road conditions. And how is it out there on I-20, Tatiana? Yeah, good morning, guys. I-20, when I was coming into work this morning, I'll tell you this, that black ice, whether you see it or not, it's definitely there. You have to be extremely careful. I'm going to step out of the frame a little bit. You can see that this area right here is covered in snow. And underneath that snow, like Bridget said, is covered in ice. And we are going to have some very cold conditions throughout the day and into the evening. So that ice is not going to thaw, and we're not going to look to see very much sun that's not going to thaw the ice either. So as you're headed into to work this morning or you're leaving this evening from wherever you're going, please be extra careful. Text warns that you leave at least three feet, which I like to say a car length and a half between you and the other person in front of you if you're following them on the road. But also, I want to mention something. In conditions like this, you want to stay hydrated. Whether you know or not, you do get dehydrated very easily in cold weather. So if you guys have water and you stocked up yesterday because of last year you were preparing, knowing that you we're going to have this Texas freeze. Make sure that you are staying hydrated. Keep a bottle of water in your car. Texas also says to keep safety things like flashlights. If you lose power and you're going to have to do things in emergencies that you don't expect. Reporting live in Odessa, Tatiana Battle, ABC, Big Two News.